you can see how insane this roller looks. It is crazy how good this roller looks. What's going on guys? So today we're going to be talking about rollers. So I got three tips to how to get good rollers. And I'm going to put some pictures up here in a second. So my first tip is shutter speed. So you want to be shooting at a slower shutter speed. I recommend 115, 125, 135, depending how fast you're going, give or take also on the lighting conditions. But this is an example that I got shooting at this. So this, the shutter speed was 115. 115, which is very slow. We're probably going around 40 miles an hour. But you can see how insane this roller looks. It is crazy how good this roller looks. Same with these two options. The amount of things you can do, you don't have to drive fast, because every time I started thinking about rollers, the faster you go, the better the results. But if you can go at a slower speed, that way your hands don't shake and you don't have that much wind in you, you will get a better shot, as long as you slow down your shutter speed. So tip number two, if you're slowing down your shutter speed, your f-stop or aperture has to be high. So like the pictures I talked about my friends WX where, where I shot them at 115, the aperture was at 22, which is pretty ridiculous. That way, since you're shooting at a slower shutter speed, you're letting more light in. Therefore, you're gonna overexpose if your aperture is, let's say it's eight or five or six. You wanna have it as high as possible depending on the lighting conditions, depending also on how slow your shutter speed is. If you're shooting at 130, which I did for this picture, this Type R, my shutter speed was probably around 14, which isn't bad, it's like normal. In this picture, we're actually going around 40 miles an hour, so it wasn't that much slower, so it wasn't crazy, but you can see how good this roller looks. And lastly, you need a wide angle lens. I don't know how to explain it, but you need a wide angle lens. You cannot do these rollers with a traditional, nifty 50 lens that you always get because that's what I did I got a 50 millimeter lens when I first started photography and the picture is amazing for stills but when I wanted to do rollers I was like I tried it out and it was horrible but now for these pictures that I'm pulling up of the, my friends GTR my other buddies WRX STI the type R these are all shot by a wide angle lens so most of these I shot with when I was um, shooting on Canon, which had a 60 to 35 f/4, which was so amazing. This lens is probably one I would recommend for just for rollers. If you're looking for a lens to buy just for rollers, I recommend this lens. And then these other couple shots that shot on my friend's STI as well as the Type R, these are actually on my new setup, which I'm using a 24 millimeter. So a 24 millimeter can get the job done, but I definitely recommend you get a 16 to 35 because shooting with a 16 to 35 is just so much better because you can zoom into 35 or even zoom out if the car's, the car's really close at you. You can zoom to 16 and you can shoot the whole car and even get more of the area that you're shooting in. This is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Use these three tips to take better rollers. So tip one, slow your shutter speed. And then tip two, if you're slowing your shutter speed, put your f-stop as higher or corresponding to what shutter speed you're shooting at. And tip number three, that is a must. You need to get a wide angle lens. You cannot do rollers without a wide angle lens. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe to the channel. Until next time.